Hey, it is Middlebro back with the Dragos once again, and it is... Uh, well, this will be episode 26, but it's day 27 because of my little screw-up in the series. Like, um, see a zombie off here in the morning? I didn't get really any progress done on the base over here. Why, you? Um... Because I was working on making some armor overnight. I made, I mostly made like, uh, I made most of Fangs' uh, armor set that I, from what I could remember. I don't remember Woody wanted for, for boots, but I figured, because like, I know I was using some, most of like, uh, his legendary parts, kind of repay him back for that a little bit. Coming over to check what side of the he's apocalypse. got. Oh, sweet, he's got... He's got, I've got little a lot of duct tape. He's got a lot of duct tape. And, uh. He's got duct tape and cloth. I am really hurting for this, so. Let's Guns, see. Ammo, knives. I will. Buy all your. I will buy all your. We sell duct tape after shoes. I actually take the sugar You're butts if I remember to. And I'd rather trust just helps make it a little bit cheaper. Hug. And a thousand bucks for that. We grab all the cloth fragments. Um, grab the rest of the steel because that's actually you can use more of that. And. So it gets Open always dead, handy. Dead. One customer at a time. What did I need for more armor crafting kits? Oh, I've put all my armor parts away. I'm gonna try to make myself a couple tier six items of stuff, and you know, at least get myself a tier five bonus of of armor. You know, like for the enforcer set. So. Shouldn't be that bad. Let's just jump up here and go into the basement and see what we got. I was trying one to try to get Mrs. Dragon some part, but I can only really give her some uh, hand me down stuff. It's like I'm trying to kind of manage the stuff, yo, know, best I can here. Um, a little bit hungry, but we'll wait on that. No. Good look for my armor parts quick. There they are. They're only really used for making armor crafting kits. Do I have any extra gear to do? I'll just scrap you down for armor part. And we'll just wait for that while I make some crafting kits. There we are. While we're making that, I will utilize the Fort use enforcer and then what do I need for a little bit extra shoes? I need a little bit of fortune iron. Think Oh, somebody's coming in. Got him. I'll just come on up. Oh, two Tony for Tony. Come here. Oh, neighbors uh, insist on giving, uh, insist on uh, being annoying, as per usual. So I'll just make more forged iron out of that. We'll wait for, actually not wait for that. Give me my enforcers, uh, enforcer thing, and we just wait for a couple more forged iron. Seems like you guys are having a water record out there. Because <laughs> I've been watching the XP just kind of pop up. She's handling it pretty good. Good to hear. Uh, that way I can make my shoes. Thank you, me. And. So. Got the Enforcer outfit. The Commander outfit's done me well, so. But. Like, you know, I'm kind of want to go into full, you know, kind of full Dirty Larry mode, so. And. 
Throw you in. Why did I just take my... I, I took the mods out of the armor that I was not one to use anymore, but I decided to put in the old, uh, put in the same offer, armor. Slap you in, give me a bit more. And commando boots. Um, uh, Mrs. Drago, I got you. You can have my old commando armor. It's tier 5. I'll come over and hand you that really quick. If I can find you. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. And if you like, you can have my old uh, commando boots. They give you a little bit of run speed bonus. Awesome. So now I got my... I actually got my armor bonus going. So... Enforce your set bonus. This is... Keep in mind, guys, this is per... This actually depends on tier. So it's like, say if I had one t piece of tier 1 armor, I would only get the tier 1 bonus, but... Basically, all of my 44 Magnum will do, right now, will do 25% more damage and reload 25% faster. That applies to the Desert Vulture as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's that's a slight little upgrade to, to me and... Should that. I get a couple more armor parts? Um, Two more? If, if, if you want to. Sure. Just kind of realizing how expensive armor crafting is, really. Really, now, like, uh... Like, unless you want tier 5 stuff, like, uh... In order to make tier 6, I just need legendary parts, and we'll get... We'll eventually find those. So... Yeah, I gotta make some... Gotta do some... Quick little upgrades, and... Before I... Make a fool of myself, and go out without it, I'm going to make sure I grab my 44 Magnum. At least a stack of it. And... Look for my... crafting stuff, and... Where is... I actually grab the meat too, because I can make some... make some food for us. Oh, that's where all the glue's been sitting. I had 25 sitting in the in one of the boxes. I was wondering where that went. Uh, where where was I? What was I trying to do here? Oh right, I was. It was not ammo. I was looking for I was looking for cobblestone. Cobblestone or clay or something like that. I have a little bit of it, but that'll be, that'll do for now. So, um, let me make sure I just put a grill on just so I can make a, that way I can make some food. Um, just slow down the water, and... That way I can actually put the, the cooking grill in. And make your water up. There you go. And put you in for a little bit to make a whole bunch more grilled meats. Do you need handgun parts? Uh, yes, handgun parts would be very helpful, because I need, like, I'll need, like, 18 of them for an SMG. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I gotta do some upgrading here, so I'm going to, I'm not gonna time up stuff for you. I'm going to go, like, I'll come back once that's done, so I will catch you guys in just a second. All right, everybody, so I'm gonna stop the time-lapse now because of... Well, I've gotta figure out a little more base. I grabbed the cobblestone blocks. I'm making a whole bunch more, just in case, like, probably gonna need a lot more than what, uh, what we want. Well, <laughs> yo. So, basically, I was like, how am I going to build a 
new horde base. Like, you know, like, what am I gonna build? And I'm like, I heard Fang saying he won to. I, like, I agreed with him, like, I'm gonna try to do the Birdcage Mark II. So, I don't exactly remember how he built it, but I'm gonna kinda go off of. kinda do my own little kinda remix of this a little bit. So, we're just gonna kinda start. I just want to make sure I have my claw hammer out here. Gotta start by getting this upgrade to concrete. It may not exactly be what we want, but I'm just kind of like I'm doing this on the fly and you know trying to get trying to get a good idea of what I want to do. So I'll just kind of build up. A little bit here. Like we're gonna, I'm gonna make sure there's gonna be a sturdy foundation for this. And we're also gonna incorporate some pathing into this. So I apologize for this being kind of building up so, but this is kind of needed. So this is that's ground level one, two. Three, four. I'm gonna put the magnum away for now. And I'm just gonna copy shape and rotation really quick. So for the. I'm gonna go up to five and then six. This will be kind of like a, a first platform, so. Uh. Hopefully my clay plate doesn't get too rowdy, but with this, but um, we'll do a nice little two, three, four, five, six. That will be our kind of first little block. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, four, six, block. We're gonna, I'm gonna do this on all four sides. It's really not that hard to do. It's just one of those I'm like, it's just kind of trying to do it in a timely manner. So two, four, six, and Drago's on the hunt for cloth. Mrs. Drago, what are you doing at the moment? I just came home to unload. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're kind of doing their own thing, but I figure, you know, kind of just throw this on, like, yo. Know, this will be a... Kind of like a little staircase here. And I'm probably going to build this to be... Pretty sturdy. Um, let me make sure I actually... Dig this into the ground a little bit. There we are. And make sure that's concreted. So one, two, three. And a bowl of hunters four. into the storage crate with the nerd outfit. Okay. Um, we need to go up two more blocks. So. I'm just gonna kind of build this stupidly sturdy, so. And. You need to go up to build you like that. And. And of course, I'll have like staircases going up. But. Let me repeat the process. We'll kind of. I said I wasn't doing time lapse earlier. I was uh, skipping through that. I, I, I'm a little flustered at the moment. So, I'll time lapse this really quick for you, just to look. Now we'll be back with the next little bit.
Okay, YouTube, so getting this built up pretty sturdily here, like you got the main pylons, I'll say, you know, built up like so. Actually, we'll do it like this. Place it with stairs, and because that's going a little bit too tall for Good my job. liking, and. you get you like that and we just repeat the process like this and basically giving us giving zombies a a viable path up to us like of course I'll use like the kind of stable that I use for 0.5 millimeter poles you know no 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 Like this, that's what I'm thinking of. And there we go. Build you like that. And then of course we do it like this. It'll be kind of an interesting design to say the least, but I'm like I'm literally winging it here and the next what I want to do is do some stairs gotta think about what we're doing here make sure this all kind of fits up actually give me basic rotations yep like that I kind of I like doing pyramid stairs too Make sure it's nice and squared off. Um, you go on that side. And then we just kind of... I find it just kind of gives zombies a lot of good leeway to you. Just kind of make sure they... Make sure they behave themselves on their... On their pathing adventures. So... Give you that. And... Should work pretty well. Can I? Yep, that works pretty well. And I'll just get that cobblestone back on the craft since I had to pause it for a second. And one thing we'll do here is work on getting actually cobblestone blocks go up here. This will be a bit of a... This is a bit cramped, so... Um... What I'll do is... Do a little extension to... Give it more room, basically. Like I say, I can't design like the bases I kind of make, they kind of just come up on the fly. I'm just whether it comes out uh, well enough or not, that that that's to be decided by the game. But <clears throat> thankfully, I'm able to jump over there. So what I'll do is take the classic scaffolding ladders and. We'll actually put them. Take advanced rotation. Dang. Not the. the game wanted me to do something else. I wanted to do advanced rotation. We'll do it like this. And. There we go. And basically just have our scaffolding ladders like this, and that makes it a bit better. And then what I'm going to do is take, go to poles, and what I'm going to do is take pole double, 
and we'll just put like so and this gives a this kind of allows to good melee range and hang on that we put that over there and then we're gonna copy shape and rotation with the wood frames thank goodness for copy shape and we do it like we do it like this too and then the next little little bit is we go back to basic and then I'm gonna take the bars corners and symbol rotation will put start with that rotation and put it like that and you, you kinda get the idea here so and I'll just kinda make it a little bit taller and make sure we do that and of course I fell off what's new but I can't get back up there easily that's why we have nerd poles give me that I can just jump over and as a little we'll just have a a regular old ladder not scaffold but stack it up and there we go and actually we'll kind of do it Maybe you have an idea what the original baking bird cage looks like. You'll kind of get an idea of it. What this can look like. So. And. Get it built up like that. I was kind of fast forward this for you guys, like time lapse a little bit. So one sec. Alright guys, so I've got this structure built up now, so to where I'm happy with it, and you can kind of see it's like it's it's kind of designed to be, like once I get the poles installed, like it'll, it should be perfectly fine, and like I gotta kind of get the rest of the birdcage sorted out, but I'm not going to bore you with that, I'm going to work on the bird cage overnight so guys that's gonna be about it for today's episode so if you made this far into the episode and you like what you see please leave a like comment subscribe down below helps the channel oh so much i hope you have a good one and take care